हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो ऑफ मार्पोल सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी एट और लास्ट वीडियो वॉज अबाउट एन एक्स फोर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एन एक्स फाइव दट इज रेगुलेशन फॉर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ पॉल्यूशन बाय गार्बेज फ्रॉम शिप्स दिस एन एक्स फाइव केम इन टू फोर्स ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर नाइनटीन एटी एट एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस एन एक्स वॉट इज गार्बेज मीन्स सो गार्बेज मीन्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ डोमेस्टिक एंड ऑपरेशनल वेस्ट अदर देन फिश एंड जनरेटेड ड्यूरिंग normal operations on ship okay and this garbage are categorized in different categories according to this annex so let's see about that so first is plastics then food wastes then domestic wastes then cooking oil incinerator ashes incinerator is actually a furnace okay used for burning the waste to remove the contaminations of that of that waste okay so uh, the ashes of that of those waste after burning then operational waste then uh, cargo residues animal carcasses and fishing gears okay so these are the categories of garbage which are categorized according to this annex and here on the screen you can see that how much time does the different type of take to dissolve into the sea so i hope you can understand that how this garbage waste are a major concern for our marine environment and that's why the most important feature of this annex 5 are the total prohibition of discharge of plastic waste into the sea and severe restrictions on the discharge of other category uh, garbages of other categories into the sea into the coastal area or into the special areas now let's see about special areas of this annex so first is mediterranean sea then baltic sea black sea red sea persian gulf north sea antarctic area and the wider caribbean area so these are the special areas according to annex 5 now let's discuss about discharge criteria according to this annex 5 for different category of garbages so here in the table you can see on your right hand side there is type of garbage and on the left hand side there is disposal regulations for outside special area and inside the special area so first is about all plastics including synthetic ropes synthetic fishing nets plastic garbage bags and toxic incinerator ash for of plastic products so these are strictly prohibited outside special area and inside the special area the next is dunnage cleaning and packing materials which will float so these are allowed to discharge more than 25 nautical miles from nearest land but they are prohibited in special areas the next is paper products rags glass metal bottles uh, crockery and similar refuse so these are allowed to dispose uh, greater than 12 nautical miles from the nearest land or Three nautical miles from the nearest land, if commuted and ground to a size of less than 25 mm, but they are prohibited in special areas. And last one is about food waste. They are allowed to discharge greater than 12 nautical mile from the nearest land or three nautical mile from the nearest land, if commuted or and and ground to size less than 25 mm. And in special areas, they are allowed to discharge greater than 12 uh, 12 nautical mile from the nearest land. Now let's discuss about garbage record book. So according to the regulation nine of this annex, all the ships of 400 gross tonnage and above, and all the ships certified to carry 15 persons or more on board, and all the fixed and floating platforms engaged in exploration or exploitation of seabed must carry garbage record book with them. Now let's see what are the entries to be made in this garbage record book. So first is about when garbage is discharged at sea then when discharged at port then when incinerated and at accidental discharge okay so these are the entries to be made in the garbage record book and this garbage record book with all the receipts must be kept on board for 2 years after the last entry has been made now let's discuss about shipboard garbage management plan so according to this annex all the ships of 400 gross tonnage and above and all the ships certified to carry 15 persons or more must carry shipboard garbage management plan with them and let's see what is included in this plan so first is designated the person responsible for carrying out the plan then it should be in the working language of the crew then provide written procedures for collecting storing processing and disposing of garbage then contain written procedures for the use of equipment on board okay so these are the points included in the shipboard garbage management plan so this was about annex 5 of marpol 7378 that is 
regulations for the prevention of pollution by garbage from ship. I will provide you the PDF of this annex. You can download it from the link given in the description box. So I hope you will like the video. So please click the like button, share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.